So one of the big talking points, which uh, Martin just slightly reflected on there, is the Gigabit Wireless Fabric portfolio. I'm presenting to us about this is Jean-Francois Fontaine Boulet, who I'm pleased to say I can call JF after this, uh, and he's coming from Nice in France, and Alessio Moroni, who a lot of you will know, he's coming from Milan in Italy, I think he's joining us now. Now, Alessio, I have to, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, good morning. I've got to ask you a question, because I'm told that you are a surfer, now, I've been to Milan and I don't remember the beach. Yes, you're right, Brian. I have to travel far away to go and find decent waves. So in Milan, there are other things to do, but definitely not surfing. Good. OK. All right. Well, look, this is a very important presentation. I presume JF is going to join us shortly. Um, but I will leave you to make the introduction. And uh, we're all very keen to, to find out more. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased to be here, most of all, in front of this virtual large audience. I will try to surf in the next 10 minutes among some slides. I was given the task to provide a broadband portfolio highlights, so I will do my best to do that. First of all, regarding Cambium, you should know that we are able to basically provide solution for all the different layers of the network architecture. So starting from backhaul, long distance, high capacity, both licensed and unlicensed spectrum, to broadband access, we have different type of technologies to interconnect residential and enterprise customers, but also for other type of application like video surveillance, to edge access with the indoor Wi-Fi and outdoor Wi-Fi and the networking with, as uh, Martin said earlier. We also have other type of solution, uh, more industrial, uh, type of uh, solution, they are narrowband. So I will definitely do not, not speak about narrowband technology today. Today is the day of gigabit wireless. Before introducing the portfolio, I always like to start uh, sharing some of the key reference that we have uh, in the different type of vertical markets where we operate. Uh, as you can see, we have very important names in each and every single vertical market. And these big names are always looking for excellent quality. So it is very challenging to work with these big names in, in different type of vertical markets. So I'm very proud that we have among our reference some key players in every single vertical market. Let's talk about the wireless broadband uh, technology. I, as I have just mentioned, we have a, a pretty large uh, portfolio which covers both point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint. Uh, -point -point. And we have also recently started to have a more focused, more vertically focused solutions like CM Vision for the video surveillance uh, market. At Cambium, we have a product basically for every need, whether it is a, a backup solution or a last mile access for mission critical or cost-effective deployments, we can do it. Uh, we are not one of those vendors that have one single platform that they try to stretch among different type of applications and vertical market. We really have a very wide portfolio. And each product, whether it is proprietary or standard based, has a strong technology differentiators, which makes Cambium products unique. So for our partners, it's easy to pitch Cambium product because we have a lot of differentiator, a lot of key sending points, which I will try to give you some highlights in the next few minutes. I have to start with the CM Medusa. I, I mean, I'm very proud about this product because we were the first to introduce more than four years ago, the first massive multi-user MIMO technology for team by 14. Since then, we have sold tens of thousands of this product. We made, we built hundreds of networks, hundreds of customers have embraced the Cambio technology and they have improved the spectrum efficiency of their solutions. Uh, consider that after four years from the first date, Simedusa is still the best spectrum efficiency. This is incredible. This just explains why Cambio is a market leader in this uh, field. We are able, thanks to this massive multi-use MIMO technology, 
to simultaneously connect with up to seven SN simultaneously. We can deliver 500 megabits in a 20 mega channel. And this is something really important for our part. This technology was backward compatible with the previous generation. So there was a very strong protect, protection of the investment. We are very reliable. And most of all, we deliver performance under interferences. We have uh, uplink interference mitigation due to being forming. We have uplink RX sensitivity improvements. So we improved this by more than 12 dB compared to the previous uh, technology for 50. In terms of subscribers, we now have uh, three form factors. You will say, Alessio, you're wrong. We only have two. No, actually, we have three. We have recently introduced another form factor. So we have the mid gain with 17 dBi. We have the high gain, but we are, we are introducing PNP for 50 retro. So we're bringing back to life uh, the old canopy form factor which was the, the subscriber that we used to pitch until a couple of years ago. And most of all, the subscriber that we used to have, the only form factor back then when I started joining Motorola in 2009. What is very interesting about this product is that if you want to swap your whole hardware, this is basically a seamless swap. Everybody can do it. You just swap it. You don't need to realign. And you can reutilize uh, the same reflector that you were using. So thanks to the 450B retro, we can go farther away in terms of distance because you can use different type of uh, third-party reflectors to go farther away from your um, access point. Uh, moving forward, there is a new camera into the 450 platinum, which is the, the Micropop. The Micropop is a product that was designed for total cost of ownership in mind. Basically, we have the full features and performance of a 450 solution but it's limited up to 20 subscribers in a two mile uh, radius. So this solution is ideal for rural communities or for video surveillance of enterprise facilities. And where basically you have a business case, but not enough to justify a full EP. And uh, as you can imagine, I am a strong uh, supporter of wireless technologies. This solution can be deployed much faster and at a lower cost than fiber. And if the, in the future you will have more customer to address, you can upgrade your licenses and go beyond uh, the limitation just with a, with a simple license. Still talking about the broadband solution, uh, I have to mention, of course, uh, EPMP. EPMP, it's you know, a very important and successful piece of our portfolio. It's an 802.11ac with two solution, which is able to deliver 5x the performer compared to previous technologies. It's a 4x4 MIMO solution. We support the wider channel and the higher uh, modulations. This solution is scalable and it is very resistant to interferences. We have uplink steering, we have dynamic filtering, and we have synchronization. So we can deliver also with EPMP a lot of spectral efficiency. Protect the investment because it's backward compatible with the previous generation, which is EPMP 2000 and even EPMP 1000. This solution is very cost effective and focus on total cost of ownership. We have uh, three different type of access point, the full AP. We have the EPMP 3000L, which is a two by two MIMO, uh, always AC with two and limited to 64 subscribers for cost effective deployments. And then we also have the Micropop with the Omni, Omni antenna, two by two solutions. We, we have worked together with RF elements to release to the market the first uh, Mu MIMO dual horn antenna. This is lower cost than a 90 degree sector, it's a small form factor, so it's easy to deploy and it's very resistant to interferences. And you, you, it has 12 dBi gain and it is very suitable for those deployments when you want to narrow your sector to address customers far away from the APs. New MIMO, why we keep talking about new MIMO? We truly believe that new MIMO is the right solution to increase capacity and to basically fit the growing demand from bandwidth that the customer are asking. You can see here a snapshot of a benchmark of uh, competitive technologies. 
And you see that even if, you know, on paper, they can deliver similar bandwidth, you need to check really what, what is the minimum SNR level which is requested to provide those type of capacity. And you will see the EPMP 3000 is unbeatable. First of all, it is a AC Wave 2, genera AC Wave 2 technology. It is the third generation of EPMP products is backward compatible. We truly believe the massive multi-user multi MIMO is the technology which really fit the scope in terms of growing the demand. And we believe that thanks to multi-user MIMO, this is a proven, uh, we can provide connectivity at longer distance, we can provide more throughput, and we can also uh, deliver smaller antennas so that it's also easier to install. We never had such a rich portfolio of subscribers and this is uh, absolutely interesting because there is a subscriber for uh, every need. Different type of gain, um, so 16, 19, 25, uh, cost effective for different type of uh, application. Uh, I, I said at the beginning that uh, uh, we also, for the first time, we have introduced a portfolio which is specifically focused on video surveillance. And this is CM Vision. CM Vision is a wireless connectivity platform for video networking. We have uh, an algorithm which is optimized for video data. It's very easy to install and configure. And it is a professional grade, but at the same time, is a cost effective. It, it comes in different type of flavor. We have the point to point with different gain for different type of distance. We have the hub and spoke point to multi point which allow us to build the sector uh, or omni type of uh, uh, architecture. As I said uh, at the beginning, we always try to differentiate our products. So you always find some unique selling points. So talking about security, talking about uh, transmission with our over the air proprietary protocol, which has an unmatchable uh, quality of service. We have a frequency reuse thanks to GPS. Uh, it's very easy to deploy. It's a ruggedized product, and uh, it also has an integration with the uh, third-party uh, VDMS, and there's a no on with client, uh, which allow camera detection, and we can basically detect uh, most of the camera vendors that are there in the market. So, Brian, I try to surf and respect the 10 minutes lot. I hope I made it. Uh, and this was just a few highlights about the broadband portfolio. We will have my colleagues soon after, JF, to talk about the enterprise technology. And then we will have more people uh, talking about uh, uh, the rest of the portfolio with the 60 gigahertz. Morning, Alessio, by the way. <laughs> Good morning, JF. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go on. Thanks for the introduction on the broadband aspect. Uh, I will I will definitely follow up on the uh, enterprise part. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you uh, for uh, letting me uh, on the floor. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for attending. I wish you know we could uh, meet in person, face to face. You know I really miss uh, those events, uh, those physical events, and uh, doing things remotely. You know it's still nice, but uh, uh, feel free to reach out afterwards. I will be happy to uh, to to connect. Uh, so that that was you know my. First, you know, is a great welcome, great welcome, and, and thank you. You've been told about the, our gigabit uh, wireless fabric. So really from end to end, for any spaces, uh, any people, anything, we are connecting, we are handling, uh, whatever the distance. Uh, we were initially, you know, speaking about broadband access network, and I will tell you about enterprise, but both are really connected more and more. And, and the reason behind is because one need the other. And uh, we are, thanks to Cambium uh, portfolio, able to, uh, to connect those two words. Uh, I will be uh, playing shortly, and I will ask the, uh, the, the studio for uh, to play a video that you could also find uh, on the uh, platform today. Uh, you have a few videos, if you look at the bottom of the screen, uh, that are available, but this one is interesting. Why? Because that was one of the first one using our new tagline, wireless that just work. 
and and similar to uh, uh, fiber uh, to wireless is a new fiber sorry uh, it's a short video it's only two minutes uh, it's hosted on our YouTube channel uh, you have plenty of videos there uh, I really engage and encourage you to uh, to go there and check you know which video you could use you could you could pass on to your uh, customers. Uh, it's it's really interesting to 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 dig in there. Uh, the studio it's 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 yours if you want to. Gigabit wireless that just works. How does an enterprise or network operator plan for connectivity when there are many technologies and the only certainty is that demand for connectivity will grow? What is the best solution for your needs? With connectivity solutions from Cambium Networks, enterprises, managed service providers, and broadband network operators have a proven solution to deliver connectivity while reducing costs. With our proven wireless technology, workers and students can be as productive from home as they can from the office or classroom. Cambium Networks' diverse portfolio offers affordable, field-proven Wi-Fi and wireless broadband solutions for any application. From indoor and outdoor access to multi-point wireless wide area networks and long-range point-to-point links, Cambium Networks has a portfolio of technology solutions, our on-premise and cloud-based management platforms, CN Maestro and XMS, facilitate deployment of mission-critical wireless networks with end-to-end -end control. Our Wi-Fi solutions meet the needs of high-density enterprise applications or small and medium business. Proven experience in providing reliable wireless connectivity solutions in demanding environments around the world. 24-7 support and multi-year warranty on our technology and a network of certified local technical experts. With our solutions, enterprise and network operators can maximize throughput and limited spectrum, optimize network productivity with limited resources, measurably improve end user satisfaction and business performance while reducing costs. Our solutions are reliable so operators can deploy indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi and wireless broadband networks with confidence that they will work from launch through the long haul. Contact Cambium Networks to improve your connectivity today. Thanks a lot. So as you understood, you know, we are connecting everyone, uh, every places, everywhere, and uh, taking care of uh, upstream and downstream connectivity. If you have to remind uh, a few key messages, uh, those are the followings. Uh, the seamless performance uh, wirelessly, uh, the simplification of our operation, and the, uh, uh, the performance without the premium cost. And this will apply to any uh, product range. I will drive you through uh, the uh, enterprise Wi-Fi and switching portfolio this morning. Uh, we have uh, a few minutes to go, and I really want you to uh, uh, not only to point you to, to, to this web page uh, because you could know more, you could download uh, uh, some, some interesting collaterals, uh, but I want you to, uh, uh, to give you some highlights on the portfolio and, and tell you how best to pick and choose uh, the right product for your uh, end customers. When you have to look at the, uh, our portfolio, our broad uh, enterprise uh, uh, Wi-Fi portfolio. We have three uh, three products, you three features you should consider. One, you know the uh, the management platform, and we have three of them. Two, uh, the uh, switching part, and and three the uh, the devices are the uh, uh, access point, uh, and from two uh, from two product lines. When it comes to the uh, management platform, you will have to choose between CN Maestro. And XMS Cloud, and we have a, a new one uh, just introduced, Swift, uh, that um, well, my colleague Simon will uh, tell you more about later on. Uh, but all those platforms are managing our access point and our switches. The difference between the two will be the uh, uh, features you could expect from. So CN Maestro will, uh, if if. if if we clarify the message and make it as simple as possible, CN Maestro will focus on uh, essential features. When XMS will go uh, a step further and focus on advanced feature, on security layers, on isolation networks, and so forth. Uh, similarly, when we look at the uh, uh, access point portfolio, we have on one side, uh, this is what you have on your uh, left hand side, the CN pilot range. And on the uh, right hand side, the uh, Series 
uh, that we have acquired uh, one year plus ago, uh, range. The first one is really meant for small and medium businesses. When the serious part is for uh, larger enterprises, uh, stadiums, big venues, uh, where we, you will have uh, high scalability demand and high density needs. We could we could look at that uh, more broadly afterwards. But when you look at the uh, market, we are we are uh, reaching thanks to uh, those portfolios. Well, you know we will be able to uh, enter any any uh, facility uh, when it comes to hospitality, to healthcare, to education, to retail, to large public venues, uh, any of them. And we have so many reference, references I will tell you about. Uh, but, but bear in mind that there's no showstopper. Thanks to this large portfolio, you can place a cursor wherever you want. You can, uh, your job will be actually to uh, find out about the expectation and place the right product uh, in front of the customer. Free platform, one mobile uh, for uh, uh, actually uh, end users to uh, onboard themselves the equipment and uh, the two main, CN Maestro, or legacy platform, and XMS, the uh, inherited platform from Xerus. What would be the difference between those two? Well, actually, you know, uh, difference are, are minor, but as I told you earlier, it's really about applications, uh, about the session, uh, about how you want to uh, uh, fine tune uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 sorry, the ability to uh, enter a session for someone uh, within a, a given time frame, within uh, an hour slot. So you can really uh, decide you know, who you connect, uh, who you allow in your, in your network, uh, the, uh, the rules for security. And, and this is where XMS will, uh, will be good at, will be helping you with. Actually, you know, if, if we need to compare uh, with some uh, uh, product line from, from competition, uh, CN Maestro will be uh, really helping you with uh, Aruba Instant Like or Ruckus Unleashed uh, product when XMS uh, will su support you and e enable you to fight against Cisco Meraki, for example. The switching part. Uh, the key question regarding switching part will be, which uh, switches will, will you want to, to work with? The EX1K, the EX2K? So the difference between the two are layer two or layer three access. And then, you know, PoE or non-PoE? 8, 24, 48 ports? Well, it'll be, it'll be, it will be up to you to, to choose, but definitely this is uh, the way to uh, best decide you know, which product to use beside the cost, for sure. All of them are managed on uh, CN Maestro and XMS. So whatever the platform you choose, uh, both of them will be, uh, will be managing the, uh, the switches beside the access point. Great ease of use, zero touch provisioning. This is what we focus on. The policy-based automation, uh, this is a great feature that uh, the, uh, the market is really um, applauding us for and thanking, thanking us for, for, for having introduced it uh, into our switching family. The security, as I told you earlier, uh, this is important to us. Uh, the limited lifetime warranty, and, and this is interesting, I can place it here. Uh, all the indoor products are coming with a, a, a five-year warranty. All the other products in the uh, enterprise Wi-Fi and switching uh, family are coming with a three years warranty. No need to add. Best in class TCO. And I will have colleagues explain you why uh, we 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 good against competition. Regarding the uh, access point, uh, we have two lines. One which is uh, CN Pilot. This is the one, and we will have another one, uh, Xerus. Key question: Where do I place the access point? Indoor or outdoor? Do I want a standard connectivity or high density? Uh, that will depend on the environment in which you're placing the uh, the access point. You can connect them to CN Maestro on the cloud. This is what we are really encouraging you uh, to do. Uh, On-premises with a virtual machine or with a physical uh, controller, if you wish to, or as a autopilot mode with no controller. Beside, uh, in the uh, CN pilot range, we also have the routers that will be more for uh, the service providers uh, wishing to connect uh, individuals 
in uh, MDUs, for example. If I take a facility, consider this uh, could be any, any actually. It could be a, a school, it could be an hotel, it could be an enterprise. Well, you know, what will you, you be using? The CN Pilot E410 is really the two by the radio, the one that we are um, installing almost everywhere. This is our, uh, the, the key uh, selling uh, access point. Uh, next to it, you have the CN Pilot E600. This one will be for larger spaces where you have a more density, typically a, a public area, a, a conference room. Uh, next to that, you will have to cover the uh, outdoor spaces and the uh, E700 will be interesting, uh, placed around a, a golf course, uh, around a, a swimming pool, around uh, any, any garden activities. And as an alternative to the uh, E410, this uh, corridor access point, uh, you can also uh, consider to install uh, access point in every room, in every bedroom, in every hospital room. Why? You know, uh, to, uh, to, to act also as a mini switch, uh, considering that you have only one internet uh, socket in the room, you will be able to, uh, to, to connect uh, this uh, and to use not only Wi-Fi, but also uh, wired activities such as connecting a, t a smart TV, connecting an IP phone, uh, connecting any, anything, you know, uh, beside uh, the access point itself. And, and this would be particularly interesting into hospitality. When it comes to Zegras, it's uh, um, another, uh, another range of products. And what will be the outcome of it? Well, you know, when you have a standard Wi-Fi uh, install with, let's say, 16x expand, well, Thanks to Xerus portfolio, you will drive this down uh, to half of the access point. And uh, why? Because we are we are coming with much more radios, uh, higher density capacities, and uh, one of the key uh, things that we also implemented into Wi-Fi 6 portfolio, the software defined APIs. And I will tell you more about this. Again, question, you know. Who do, do you want to connect? What do you want to, to connect or to allow on the network? And this is what we'll be doing with Xerus and the XMS platform. Well, you know, being, being able to decide which uh, employees are connecting, uh, through which uh, connectivity we have the ability to connect through Microsoft Azure or Google uh, Login. Uh, we, we can edit uh, vouchers for customers. We can enable a one-click access. Uh, but we can also connect devices remotely. So this will be done through EasyPass. This is one of the options you can uh, tick for on, uh, on XMS, but we have many more features, uh, among them the multi-tenant control or the uh, zero-touch provisioning. So really, uh, you know, look for uh, what are the expectations from the end user that will, will drive you to pick the right platform and the right access point. Last, uh, last portfolio is an interesting one. Be why? Because this is the latest technology, Wi-Fi 6 access point, and those are manageable uh, through every platform. CN uh, Maestro on one side or, uh, or XMS. And, and that will be interesting onward, you know, to uh, have some, uh, some different access points next to each other, to have some switching uh, on top, and you will be managing everything through the same uh, management platform. The x 3 uh, 8 has been the first one, first Wi-Fi uh, 6 access point we have introduced uh, this summer. Uh, the xv 22 is the uh, second one. One is 8x8 radios, the other 2x2, two two, and uh, those are really killers in uh, new tenders. Uh, why? Because the, uh, the procurement departments are really focusing on the new technologies and they don't want to miss this now. So uh, bear in mind that if you have new tenders, new RFPs to answer, you might be asked for Wi-Fi 6 uh, equipment and we have the answer. This is an overview, interesting one, you know, just, you know, displaying all the access points and uh, among what they can, you know, offer you a value, performance focus or identity. As you saw, you know, we are managing the infrastructure, uh, active equipment uh, from Cambium, uh, switching and access point, the platform to manage them all. And when it comes to software, well, you, you will have to decide whether you rely on Cambium only, on our captive portal, on our uh, Wi-Fi designer tool, 
or if you want to add uh, software and hardware the layers uh, that we can connect you with uh, among our uh, ecosystem partners. We've been launching an ecosystem partner program for Cambium where we uh, make sure and uh, connect with some key partners uh, uh, in the industry uh, to enable you to monetize your Wi-Fi, uh, to check the, uh, the, the QS of your uh, Wi-Fi network and, th and so forth. And for each of them, we are explaining you exactly what they're doing, uh, their activity, their USP, in which the key vertical they are active. And uh, we have been editing uh, and, and will be uh, uh, published uh, soon uh, some solution paper where you can clearly identify what you can expect from our ecosystem partners. All uh, those collaterals are available on our connected uh, partner portal, but I'm sure uh, uh, Marco will tell you later on uh, about this. I will be I will be quick. I know uh, I, I have to speed up. Uh, let's let's focus on what we are doing to enable you to be more successful into enterprise. Well, uh, we we have different verticals uh, where we are really active and where we build some programs. So uh, we've been building list of uh, references to help you uh, show to end users that yes, Cambium is a valid option. Uh, for, for, for hardware. Yes, uh, Cambium is successful in the enterprise business. So we have some vertical slide decks, some case studies available, the ecosystem I told you, the partners I told you about. And regarding our key uh, verticals in municipalities, education, healthcare, hospitality, or retail, well, we have a plan for Wi Fi for you. We have been really, really suc successful and we are now pressing on, a, on an expansion plan, education program. We have accrued the visibility on our website. Hospitality program, we are now slightly refocusing on healthcare. Why? Because of the uh, COVID crisis, but definitely this is still uh, a focus for us. Service providers will be uh, launching a new program soon, and I will tell you shortly what it is about. Just for you to, uh, to, to understand our enterprise breakthrough within the last two years, those are what we the references have been able to to collect, to gather, and to list uh, more than one thousand uh, municip municipalities win, seven hundred in education, six hundred in hospitality, five hundred plus in healthcare. So we have really long list of happy customers that you can connect with, that, that you can refer to when pitching our product. Two programs. One education, one hospitality, the hospitality one covering a broader activity than just hotels. It's also healthcare, MDU, retail, large public venues. If you are a connected partner, you may also want to register to those programs that will give you a, a access to extra features and support. Some key uh, references. Alessio was happy to, to share some logos. I have plenty as well. I could have uh, showed you uh, probably uh, triple, credible number of, uh, of pages, just to remind you that we are really active, really successful in those sectors that we can help you with, that we can accompany you in any meeting. Uh, we can engage with uh, uh, key customers uh, to help you to sign and, and grow your business with Cambium. Next to that, we are also really active with uh, service providers. And why am I showing you uh, this to, to today next to the enterprise business? Why? Because just as I told you earlier, the two are connected. Well, two thirds of those uh, service providers are also engaged with Cambium for the enterprise uh, deployments they are taking care of. I'm almost done. This is the last line, and then you know I, I will give you the floor. Uh, the uh, service provider program. I told you we will be launching uh, in in the coming weeks uh, and and months. Uh, let's say by the end of the year, early next year, a new program focusing on those broadband service providers, where we want to help them to grow their enterprise business, but we also want to end them with dedicated content, dedicated uh, collaterals, uh, activities, trainings, and so forth. So please, if you are a service provider, if you, have a, uh, if you are a carrier, a WISP, an MSP, uh, focusing on this activity, register into our, our website, cambionnetworks.com slash partners, and you, have, you will have the ability to be communicated with information once the new platform, the new program will be uh, ready and uh, operated.
thanks a lot. If you have any question, reach out to me. Uh, I don't know, uh, Brian, if you do have question for me, uh, but uh, I, I think I made it within the time frame I'm given. Uh, hi, Jeff. Yeah, don't worry. You, you've gone slightly over, but I think we'll forgive you because the content was certainly uh, packed, packed with action. So I've got, we've got two questions. First one is for Alessio. Um, Alessio, questions come in. What are the typical challenges service providers are facing and how do you see Cambian is addressing them? Brian, this is a good question. Actually, they have uh, several challenges to, to address because uh, the, the bandwidth demand is increasing year over year. Not only that, it's almost very huge at, at peak time. So they need to be able to cope with this traffic increase at peak time when uh, each one of us come back to the office uh, or, or finish the smart working and they start working their Netflix, YouTube videos. And uh, on top of that, there is, you know, a lot of interferences and there is a very little available spectrum. So these are the typical challenges that a service provider uh, must address. And with Cambio, we can help to address some of those. Of course, we cannot create a, a you know, new spectrum, but what we can do, as we have done, and some of my colleagues will speak about it, we are releasing new product in brand new frequencies, which were never, which were not available before. And also, if we speak about five gigahertz, we have a, a very strong spectral efficiency. We have GPS sync, so allows you to utilize the same channel, uh, which is very important. So we can help our customer to address uh, those challenges. I think it's very important that we keep in mind, uh, you know, the growing traffic increase and we keep delivering technologies which are state of the art that uh, can address those challenges. A few years ago, 10 megabits was more than enough. Now, the, the, the new normal is basically 50 meg or even more. So our technologies can help our customer to address those challenges. I'm, I'm really convinced, Brian. Well, so am I. Thank you, Alessio. Quick question, Jeff, I've got one question for you. Are you seeing a lot of traction on Wi-Fi 6 and, and what for and where? So I will be quick. Yes, I see a lot of traction, mostly on larger RFPs and, and on uh, for one particular uh, vertical, the education. So if you're working in education for large schools, international schools or universities, you, you could be sure that you will be you will have to answer with Wi-Fi 6 access point. I'm done. You know, I don't want to. I want to Great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was action-packed content. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Brian. Thanks a lot, JF. Thank you, everyone.